Hello, it's David Duford here, DeFord Insurance Group. I'm with Susan. Susan's a newer agent at DeFord Insurance Group, and we're going to be talking about seminar marketing. Uh, more specifically, how to get high intent leads without spending a lot of money. So if you're a newer agent thinking about yeah. selling final expense and, and like the idea of getting good leads without spending a lot of money, then this uh, video is for you. Susan, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Well, why don't you kind of give us the overview of uh, a little bit about yourself and how you got into business, and then we'll start talking about how you use seminars to get business. Well, I got into business because I live in Danville, Virginia now. I just moved home, but at the time, about five years ago, I worked for a couple of different funeral homes in Colorado and uh, as a pre-need, and then... Um, I stopped that and I, I found you on YouTube. And uh, so I contacted you and I didn't have money for leads. So I started doing the seminars. So I got some experience there. And then I got a really good job offer. So I stopped and went to that job. Um, <laughs> then a few years later, they fired me. <laughs> and uh, so I got back in touch with you. And I had bought, I think it was about $5,000 worth of leads in Denver. And then about the time I, they start coming in, I got the opportunity to come back home. So I came home. <laughs> so I don't really have a whole lot of money for leads. So I started with the seminars again. And I really think if I could, and I think I think maybe you, you could, I would just stick with seminars. I enjoy it. Yeah. So what tell I, us more about how you get the seminars and why they're enjoyable. Okay. Well, I, I was trying to do it the way your class teaches. And sometimes those facilities are hard to get into. They're locked. Then if you can get on them, um, trying to find the service coordinator. So I just started writing letters. I have a letter I send, and I look on the site, that HUD site, and I send letters to everybody, and then I call and follow up. Sometimes I get to talk to the service coordinator. A lot of times I get like a receptionist, but they will give me the service coordinator's email address. So then I email them, and I send that letter again with a copy of the flyer. And they'll call me and uh, set up a time and then I go do them. And I try very hard to do, do them like you do in uh, your teaching. But I swear to God, David, I cannot do one in 15 minutes. It takes me about <laughs> an hour. That's okay. That's <laughs> but all it's right. an enjoyable hour. Right. It really is. Right. So now tell, tell the audience who are newer to Final Expense, what type of facilities you're going after? I'm going to the um, senior living facilities that are, I can't remember that side, but you know the one, senior information HUD yeah, HUD thing facility, that you yeah. have on the train. Um, I go to those. And that's really all I've been doing. I, don't, I, I wouldn't want to go to assisted living or Definitely not nursing homes. I just go to those. And so and and there's for, there's a lot around. Yeah. For the audience sake, I'll kind of describe what this is. So these are these are living facilities that are HUD administered, sometimes they're locally administered. And this is where low income seniors go to live that you know, otherwise probably couldn't afford housing on their own. Many of these yeah. seniors, they're not that they're in perfect shape, but they're not so terribly in shape like somebody in an assisted living facility that they live independently and they're able to qualify for life insurance and these facilities are everywhere if you don't know where Danville is it's in the middle that's not in the middle of Virginia but it's a small town in Virginia and there are locations for these facilities even in smaller towns uh, you'll mm -hmm. find them in rural America you'll find them in urban America and everywhere in between and they're just one of the best places that I've personally worked and taught other agents to go find opportunities to sell insurance to. So um, 
Susan, kind of talking about the presentation itself. I know you said you do yours for an hour, which is fine. Um, we try to keep the 15 to 20, but hey, if they're enjoying it and liking it, more reason to do it. What are you talking about? If you could give the audience an idea, what, what are you talking about in the actual seminar itself? Well, I started off, like you suggest, introducing myself and giving a little background. And then I let them know that um, I'm there because I'm an insurance agent. But my background was in funeral homes. And I also have a lot of other information. So we won't just talk about insurance. I include these other things. But I try to get the, um, especially the term, and start off with that, talking about term and guaranteed issue and whole life and making those comparisons. Then by that time, they're asking questions. And um, then I can tell them not, not just because I read it, because but because I worked funeral homes and I have seen firsthand what happens if a family doesn't have anything and what it takes to to get these funerals paid for, and that funeral homes are not going to do a thing until they are paid in full. Also, in the meantime, if they're storing a bar body, you know you're looking at seventy five to hundred dollars a day. Yeah. That. Um, then I used the charts that you had to um, the cost of dying in America and the funeral side and then the cremation side. And I go through those. And um, I've been surprised here where I live, people are so interested in cremation. Really? But for some reason, it's right. Yeah, because, you know, it's the Bible Belt around here. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's mostly what people are interested in and um then i you know some people want to know just about a simple cremation nothing else just be cremated and somebody's going to pick up their ashes so we'll talk about that and then some that want really a traditional funeral i'll explain to them the cost of a the casket you know is a big deal in funeral homes make you think that you have to buy caskets there and you don't. And uh, we'll talk about that some. And here lately, because a service coordinator that I was speaking to said that she had um, a, a few people that come through there with insurance and funeral homes that come through there. She said what she really wanted was somebody to talk about um um, advanced directives, living will, right. you know, some of that stuff. So I just yesterday tried to include what I could found, find out looking on the internet um, in my conversation. And I don't know, I might try to make, I don't hand out anything, but I might try to um, get like the final wish but right. you know and that and then maybe uh, just a copy of of different types of directives and then different paperwork that's actually needed at the funeral home right. just a list and to hand to people because right. i don't think anybody's doing that no i don't think so i don't know what do you think i don't know i think it's perfect i mean I, I, what I would say, kind of listening to what you're doing in your presentation, you're way doing more than what our kind of normal course of action is, but that's no, by no means uh, uh, anything but a benefit. You know, I think, I think the reason you're, you're successful at this is because you're giving much more than people, anybody really expects information about not just life insurance, but the cost of dying, the little known things about the funeral business, right? Now kind of getting into wills, living wills, advanced directives and all the stuff, which is absolutely relevant that probably everybody just like life insurance ignores dealing, with, you know? So if you're in my, my take on it is as you do this, people just trust you inherently. Like when they, and this is the benefit of doing seminars, like you're able to build up uh, almost like a, a celebrity like is not the right word, but you build up your authority 
the fact that you're up there talking about the stuff competently and you're describing things like people are just going to want to do business with you because they take that trust from that and transmute it over to life insurance. And that's kind of one of the things that makes the business of doing seminars so much fun is, yes. you know, you're, you're not having to beg at somebody's door or feel like, you know, you got to call on a stranger. They're kind of coming to you, you know, that's what I like. And I think too, um, this white hair and my age helps. And I, I've, I've been telling them lately that, um, you know, how we work mostly with seniors and about the budget. But I'll, I've added to that that I just got my first Social Security check. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know that it was really by grocery maybe i think that's helpful versus yeah. a young person coming in sure sure you get it you're 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 you know you're you understand where they're at basically so that's um, but i don't do the snacks um i did for a while but it just got to be too much for me to carry it's all i can do carry this darn bag with that laptop yeah so i quit doing that and I, I don't think it really made any difference. And then I was doing the Walmart gift card. It's smart where I live. I'd rather be take a beat and then go in that place. So I just <laughs> stopped by the bank and get cash. And um, they say, and hey, and I broke my goldfish bowl when I moved. So I've been using a little trash bag. And I put the things down in there and we shake it all up i try to i try to make i try to go late you know i don't want to have to kill all that stuff right and i have just now and it worked yesterday i wasn't um really trying to set appointments the same day but i've been about to run myself to death doing that so yesterday i said i am gonna stay up there in martinsville as long as it takes and I'm glad I did. So that that's uh I'm doing gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. You do need to stay, yeah. I believe. Very good, very good. Well, Susan, appreciate you being here, kind of talking through the seminar methodology. It's something that we support at the Ford Insurance Group. Um, if you're in a position where you want to do well in this business, but maybe you're in a position where you can't or you won't buy leads, this is a viable strategy. Um, some have made this a long-term strategy. You just got to get enough in front of these uh, of these uh, places to do speaking opportunities. Some people use it as a bridge to then build a bankroll to then buy leads. Either way, it's a great way to start. If you're looking to supplement your lead flow, if you're looking to do it exclusively, we will teach you A to Z how to do this. Um, I love it. I've done about 100 of them, taught hundreds of agents to do it, and it absolutely still works. So, uh, Susan, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate your time and explaining it. Well, you're absolutely welcome, David. All right. uh, anytime you need me, you call on me. Yes, ma'am. All right. Have a good <laughs> okay. one. Bye.